These, the final sound sets for the final chapter of the Dead Sun's Adventure, were created by Chris Kerding. If there's something that Chris Kerding, one of our wonderful sound designers from Germany, specializes in, it's sequences of storytelling. Sounds laid out in Sirenscape so the game master can just trigger them, and by the end of the sequence the players know exactly where they are, what the environment is like, probably what it smells like, the sounds are so vivid, and then they can move on with the story. I'm going to play you just one mood today, one single mood from these dozens and dozens of moods in five sound sets. If you want to try some of the rest of the content in Sirenscape uh, or the rest of this chapter, just grab yourself a trial Super Siren or Sci-Fi subscription, and in that 30-day free trial period you can try them all. But today I'm going to do a boarding and lift-off sequence, and you'll notice some of the elements will have a little ring around them, a grey ring, while they're doing their first time out, their first initial wait period. That means that the sounds don't all play straight away in Sirenscape, which would be really noisy, but uh, you'll actually be able to hear the sound of people walking to the ship, uh, starting up the computers, the engine start up, and then the sequence takes off. And then once space reaches, one of the fantastic songs composed by Barry Duble, one of our sound designers in France, yay, will play. And that'll be one of the first songs that plays while the players fly through space in their shiny starship. Right, enough from me. I hope you enjoy your journey. Excellent. Boarding and liftoff. is that awesome sound design that makes me feel awesome just listening to it and uh yes your players will feel awesome too excellent work chris and of course thank you for flying at sirenscape we choose we, we hope that in the future if you choose to travel to interstellar space uh you'll choose sirenscape again 